Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in my previous video, I have described you regarding document intelligence. In this video, I'm going to explore that how to use document intelligence using Python. Okay, so for that, I have to go to portal.azure.com. So I already logged into portal.azure.com. I have to go to AI services or I have to go to document intelligence. So let's go to Azure AI services first. So I'm clicking this. And you can see like I have so many options available. So I have created visual video on computer vision as well. So you can go through my previous videos on that particular playlist Azure tutorial. So in this video, I am specifically going to uh, connect my document intelligence model using Python. So you can see like document intelligence is all, all, uh, already available in left side. So I have to click this document intelligence. So if I'm clicking this, I have already created a resource. So how to create a resource under document intelligence that I already described in my previous video. So I'm requesting you to please go through my previous videos. So I'm not going to show you again in this video. I'm going to just simply connect through Python. Okay, so for that I have to go to YouTube demo this option. So that is a resource I have created and I named it as YouTube demo. So if I scroll down, you can see like API keys and endpoint is also available for this resource. So guys, if you are going to create any of the resources in under Azure uh, AI Studio, so first uh, it, it, it will automatically create the keys and the endpoint and the regions. Okay, so you no need to create the API keys again. Okay, so they are providing these uh, features uh, readily available because you have to connect it to your code base, right? So for that only, those things readily available okay so i'm going to connect it through my python code base so for that i'm going to use google collab let me open google collab and i have to go to this option i have to start the console again because i closed my previous session and i think i have to give the sample print statement to start the backend python engine let me do that okay so those those steps is not mandatory you can connect it through your uh, visual studio code as well similar thing you need to do in visual studio code okay so it will take some some time you can see like it is connecting to python so it is executing and that's that that is the thing like it is uh, it is working fine so now i have to go to azure portal and i have to go to document intelligence studio so this is the document intelligence studio if i'm clicking this it is opening in the new tab and you can see that is there is the document intelligence studio so i'm going to connect any one of them like i can either select invoice or receipt so I'm going ahead with invoices. Okay, let's try it out. Like how the invoices looks like. I have to pick an account and it will open the account and it will load. So it will take few seconds of your time. And yes, so this is the guy's the invoice. Okay, so if I'm run the analysis, so let's run the analysis. So basically it will uh, fetch all the text from this particular uh, invoice and it will give you the output okay so and this is the code as i told in the previous video this is the code <clears throat> but i'm not going to copy this code okay let me first uh, go to the first resource page and let me click on this option like review stk quick start for a code first try out experience this option code first try out experience this option if i click this it will open the new tab and here you can use javascript java and c hash as well so in this video i'm going to use python so if i scroll down you'll get the steps one by one so first step is the keys and endpoints that i already defined like keys and endpoint is already available for us and we need to install this using pip so i'm just copying this line and i have to execute this pip install okay so this is this module is specifically for document intelligence so if you'll hit this it will install my dependencies maybe it will take few seconds of my time so guys it is installing installing and installing so okay so it's installed next we need to go to the documentation again and create your python application you have to scroll down so this is the main code okay so this is the main code we no need to do anything we just simply need to copy and paste so i'm copying this and i have to paste it over here Control v so i have pasted okay so this is the form url so if i'll go to this url and guys i do not have any handy invoices available in this video so that's why i cannot uh, give you any other samples so this is the sample invoices they have available so they are using this particular url so that is fine for our testing purpose okay so if you have any other url or any other documents you can just provide the url over here and your model will work okay so guys i have to change two things one is if your api endpoint and api key so for that i have to take it from my resource okay so this is the api key so first i'm going to copy the key one so i'm providing the key one inside your key section 
control V and then again I have to copy the Azure endpoint. So this is the endpoint. I have to copy this and I have to provide the Azure endpoint inside endpoint control V. Yeah, and that's it. Nothing else. So we have already installed the dependencies and we have all the modules available. We have the endpoint and the key and we have the form URL as well. So we are good to execute this code. Let me execute this code and see whether we are getting the expected output or not. So it will take few seconds of your time and yes, the execution completed. So you can see this is the output. Okay, so this whole thing is the output of uh, document intelligence. So you can see like uh, line one has word count two and text United States with bounding polygons this and then states and securities then exchange. So you can tally all the things with your readily available this document. Okay, so this is the invoice basically. So so let, let, let us find this constant limited and this invoice. Okay, so that thing mm, we have to check it over here and page has this much height and width and this is the united states polygon and securities and exchange commission and securities and exchange so securities and exchange also available i guess okay so basically okay so this form is not that particular form so we have to go to that particular url sorry so i have to go to that particular url okay united states is written so i have to tally that okay so if i scroll down so in the very first line you can see like line word has word count two and text united states within bounding box polygon blah 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 so see and text united states the first line have the united states right and the second line is securities and exchange commission okay so so line one has the word count secret c line hash one has word count four and text securities and exchange commission so basically the first line is line zero and then line one so line one is line two okay so basically this second line you can see like securities and exchange commission so securities and exchange commission so likewise you can tally that and you can just go through like all the things are captured in this optical character recognition document intelligence model or not and i think all the things are captured and this is the output so if you want is as json data then then also you can do that so for that you just need to copy the code and just execute in python console or you can try this code as well okay this is the similar thing i guess nothing uh, nothing much nothing uh, different okay this is the similar code okay so guys this is the process how you can use the document intelligence so i think i'm not going to define any other video because document intelligence is a very small part and similar to optical character recognition so i'm stopping here if you have any question or any doubt you can ping me in the comment box and please subscribe to my channel and share my videos because that will give me motivation and i'm going to make some other videos on other topic of azure and that will come comes under same playlist as your tutorial and if you have any suggestion please give me in the comment in the comment box and surely i'll respond to it until then stay tuned and see you in the next video goodbye